Welcome to the Work on Shapes tutorial. This tutorial walks you through the creation of a simple model of a USB flash drive. It's divided into 10 easy steps, which will enable you to learn the basics of this app. The body of the USB flash drive is rectangular, so you need to start by drawing a rectangle. From the 3D Shapes section of the action bar, click Rectangle. Now click the round base of the robot, which will serve as the support plane for the rectangle. Click to start the rectangle. Now move the pointer diagonally and click again. Now you're going to move into three dimensions. Drag the arrow of the vertical axis of the robot upwards. You'll see the body of your USB flash drive being created as you move the mouse. Stop when the height is correct for you and click the background. Learning to adjust your viewpoint is important because it will help you to improve the speed and accuracy of your designs. Let's start with Pan. Drag using the middle mouse button vertically and horizontally. Your view of the model changes. To rotate, press and hold down the middle mouse button, then the left mouse button, and drag. To zoom, press and hold down the middle mouse button. Then click the left mouse button and drag up to zoom in or drag down to zoom out. Experiment using these tools until you're able to view the model exactly as you want. The first step is to draw the profile of the connector. From the action bar, click Draw, and then in the context toolbar, select the Draw on Grid icon. Now move the pointer over the end face of your model. You'll notice a grid. This is the smart grid, which is locked in its current position. Use the grid to help you. Draw the profile of the connector and ensure you finish back where you started. You've just drawn a closed profile, which forms a face. This is the second step in the creation of the connector. You are going to extrude the face of the connector profile. Drag the arrow of the perpendicular axis of the robot away from the body of the connector. Click the value along the ruler and type 12. Then click the background. In this step, we're going to rotate a face of the body. Select this face and then position the pointer on the arc of the robot. Now drag the arc to rotate this face and click the background when you've finished. Now we're going to punch a hole through the body. To start, choose the circle command. Click point A. When you move the pointer over the top face of the model, notice again how the smart grid locks into position. Expand the circle to the correct size and then click. We'll now use the same extrusion technique you've learnt already, but this time in reverse. Drag the perpendicular axis of the robot into and all the way through the body. When you've finished, click the background. Now you're going to add a couple of finishing touches to your creation. Let's start by filleting the edge of the body near the hole you've just made. First, select the edge of the body near the hole. And in the context toolbar, click Fillet. And then click the background. The last step is to add some curves to the body. Select the top face of the body near the connector. Move the pointer into the context toolbar and select the hand with the pointing finger. This is point mode. Now drag the perpendicular axis of the robot away from the body. Two other controls appear, a slider and a purple sphere. Try adjusting these and when you have something which looks good, click the background. Your design is finished now. Well done. Let's take some time to view it at its best and enjoy what natural shape can do for you. Drag the center handle of the robot into the background. Right-click anywhere in the background and select Ambiance Dark Mirror. Finally, click Play in the center of the compass and sit back and enjoy your creation.